right, I'm live, allegedly. Okay, coming on, waiting for shit to start. I see some stuff, I see some stuff. Woo, okay, I am live, I believe. Make sure you can hear me, say something in the comments. Now, allegedly, YouTube has started saving the live chat and it's supposed to show up on the replay. Basically, how it looks right now, how you're watching it, is going to be how it looks on the replay. I haven't gone live since this started, though Tierra did say that she got the notification that that was going to happen. So, hopefully, that means that the chat will be preserved. Because I will tell you, you guys who watch my videos live are some of the most hilarious fucking people out there, and I love it. So, awesome. So, there's lots of people showing up. I I'm not even going to try and say hi to all of you right now, because... I'm trying to figure this shit out. Oh, God damn it. Brittany's in here, and I know she knows how to use a fountain pen, so this is going to be embarrassing. That's cool. Hey, Maddie. Hey, B. I saw Deb. Tamara's here. I saw Thomas is in here. Christine. Kim. Lots of people. Okay. Anyway, I can't. I'm not going to spend too long because we got to get into this. So, okay. Here is the story. I originally was going to make a video about my sticker organization today. And I'm not done finishing my organizing, so I didn't really make a video about it. But then I thought, you know what? I'm going to do a live video because Jane Davenport had sent me, I said I wasn't going to use fountain pens because I don't understand them. And she had sent me this with the ink and this one, which is one of her favorites from what she said, and some ink for that. And she was like, oh, well, you're going to like this. And then I realized I had bought this one of hers a while back, but I didn't know what to do with it. And then this one, I think, is from Schaefer or something that I bought for cheap at Michael's because I was like, I can figure it out. And then I couldn't figure it out. And then I got this as a gift for Christmas, I think, two years ago or maybe last year from one of my in-laws. And I didn't know what to do with it. So <laughs> I have a history of not knowing what to do with fountain pens. So today I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to figure this shit out so that I can understand, you know, I got an... I. It's not fair for me to judge fountain pens on my random experiences of not knowing what I'm doing. And what better way to do that than to sit here with you fine people and figure it out. <laughs> if you're having any trouble seeing the stream, um, or you guys can tell whoever, it is, uh, Amanda in the comments is having trouble seeing the stream, refresh. Oh, thank you. Tara's already on top of it. All right. So, well, thank you, Supernaturals Life. Happy birthday, by the way. I remember you said that in one of the video comments. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. I have a hard cider. I've been feeling like crap for like three weeks now with my, with my kidneys. And today I was going to just take it easy. I had gotten rid of some commitments and then I was going to go live. And then my shower backed up and I had to Google how to fucking use a shower pump like plumber snake, which I did. And I did it. Go me. But that took up like four hours, so I am wiped out. So I'm having a hard cider despite not feeling good. I'm drinking it anyway, and I'm going to figure this shit out. So that's what we're doing today. We're figuring this shit out, and I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to start. Anyway, so we got lots of people in the comments saying hi. Hi, Kaylee. Hi, Emily. Kat, Josso. Oh, Jody's in here. Hi, Jody. Okay, Amanda, I'm glad you found me. All right, so we're gonna start. We're gonna start somewhere. That's where we're gonna start. We're gonna start with this one because it's pretty. So, and because it's the one that Jane Davenport sent saying I was gonna fig like fountain pens. So I figured, whoa, oh shit balls. Those can go there, those can go. All right, fuck. There's a lot going on all in this moment. Okay, let's see here. What we got, we got this, this is really pretty. That's a pretty pen, but. As you can see, my fingers already have ink on them and it's because I was digging through this bag with some stuff in it that had this random one in there and it was all leaky because I just shoved things in a bag and put it in a drawer and was like, fuck, I'm not dealing with it anymore because that's been my fountain pen experience. Let's look, there's instructions. Okay. I have no idea if fountain pen soaked through the Erin Condren, but I will test that if I can make one of these work. I will test that. <laughs> Step one, we can have lots of fun. Step two, 
There's so much we can do. Oh, wait. Okay. So the converter cartridge is the one. That's this thing, right? And this is the one you put in to a thing of ink. And we're not going to do that. That That's advanced. I'm not advanced. We're going to go to the short. That's four steps. We're going to go to two steps because that's about what I can handle right now. Snap cartridge into pen. Screw barrel back on pen. Oh, well, that doesn't seem hard. So what color should we start with? She sent all these colors. And I wonder if they're going to work in some of these other pens or not. I hope so, because these are prettier than some of the, these are a lot of colors here too, though. Look at all these colors. Wow. Okay, anyway, so we're going to do this. What color are we going to start with? We're going to start with purple. No, wait, that's not open yet. We're going to start with green, because green is already open. I'm having trouble. <laughs> Just push it in. Okay. I'm having trouble here, Maddie. I'm not, it's been a long day. I spent a lot of time with bathroom, with bathroom chemicals. That's not how you, what? This doesn't fit. Oh, wait, wrong way. <laughs> okay. Does it make a snap? Yeah. Okay. You probably can't mix and match. Oh, well, we'll find out, won't we? Because I will. I have like four of these these other pens that that uh, Anna was saying are shitty. So I, I don't care if I wreck the shitty pens. So, <laughs> all right. So do you have to hold it a certain way? Oh, thank you, Danielle, for the super chat. I've no, I don't even know how super chat. I've given people super chats, but I've never asked for them before because I don't really understand them. Anyway, so thank you. I appreciate that, Danielle. <laughs> okay, wait, I see. Stevie, I'm glad that I'm helping you out. Okay, 45 degrees. Is that like this? Okay, this is 45 degrees, right? I can do math. That's 90 degrees. This is 45 degrees. What? Okay. What? Duh. That's pretty. Fuck. This is like forcing me to not press down too hard and it's stressing me out. I feel like I'm holding this the wrong way. It may take a few strokes to get the... <laughs> What kind of, I'm not going to molest the pen. I'm not going to. Just drawing some squiggles. It's a pretty color, that green. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can I zoom in? I, I always ask if I can do that in these fucking videos, but I know I can because I've done this enough times. Whoa. Well, that was, that guy had a big penis. Okay. Now, can you do that thing where you like press down and then like, does it give you the, no. I mean, I guess it gives you more ink, but it doesn't like... How fast can you write with one of these? Like, can I just write super fast? Hi, Shannon. Can I just write super fast? If it has a flex nib. Okay. It'll ruin... You don't suggest pressing down hard, but I always press down hard. I'm not used to... Okay, well, I'm just going to write the alphabet here. Quickly. I'm going to write quickly. This is going to be sloppy as fuck. I just want to see how fast I can write. This is some wacky looking alphabet. I mean, it's so like thin. Okay, we're going to set you to the side for right now, Jane Davenport pen. Because I want to see if this one has a broader... What kind of nib does this have? It doesn't, it's in Japanese. I don't know, okay, wait, once the writing is dried, how do you know what kind of nib it is? Fountain pen for carbon ink. Okay, what's this thing? I don't know what any of these things are. Okay, so there's this thing, which is the ink. I figured that part out. Then there's this thing, which is the cap, but what the hell is this? What is it? It looks like a little hat, like from my pinky. Like, what is this? I don't understand. Oh, I'm super zoomed in still. Okay, sorry. What, Shani, this is about me figuring fountain pens out. Broad, bit, broad nibs feel smoother. Japanese pen are finer than Western nibs. It's a pinky condom. Cap for the ink cartridge? Question mark? Maybe. I mean, that, that doesn't seem very, like, like it doesn't fit. Like it's, it's, I don't know. Okay. Is it for this? 
But that also, I, I don't get it. What the hell is this little thing for? There's like a bunch of, does anybody speak Japanese? Because it tells you right here what it is, but it doesn't, oh, it's extra fine. That's what size nib this is. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Let's, I like how pointy it is though. Okay. Is this the right way? Or is this the right way? There's foil on this end, so I'm assuming it's the right way. Pop! Whoa. Okay. Is it a funnel for pouring in ink? But there's no hole on the other end of it. It's 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 like a little cup. <laughs> it's like a or a hat. Like I don't is this to push it back? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. We're doing some experimenting here. God, I don't want to break this pen. Okay, hold on. Whoa, this is a bad idea. I'm already getting ink on myself. No, maybe I shouldn't do that. I think I was about to break the pen. Let's not break the pen because this seems like a nice pen. Okay, let's write with this. This feels like a fancy pen. I don't... A fountain pen diva cup is to help you clean the pen. Do you put like liquid in here? What do you clean a fountain pen with? I don't know that. I should have done some research, but I didn't. So, okay. This is a pretty pen though. Oh, wait, it says Jane Davenport on it, but it's from Japan. That's so fancy. Okay. Fancy. Nothing's coming out yet. Nothing's coming out. I'm stroking it. I'm stroking it and nothing's happening. I'm stroking it. I keep stro Oh, there's some ink. Okay. So this is extra fine. I'm going to zoom in again. This is really fine. Oh my God. I'm so worried I'm going to break this. There's got to be a flex nib in one of these. I don't know what it looks like though. I don't think I have a flex nib. I think they're all like non-flex nibs. I think, which probably is a good thing. I might make it spooge all over the place if I'm not careful, but like, Okay, wait, there's so much information. You guys all know things in the comments. You flush your pens with water with a bulb syringe. Like the things you suck boogers out of a kid, out of a kid's nose with, like that's like the, like the brain suckers. Is that what you clean these things out with? You insert? Oh, there's gonna be inserting. Okay, insertion. Insertion of this thing. I'm gonna sketch. Oh, that looks penile. Okay, hold on. I'm so scared to touch anything. Can you see what I'm drawing? Yeah, you can. There you go. There you go. I drew a picture. Okay. <laughs> so, Tina, you said that the platinum ink is waterproof? It says so. Oh, we're going to, okay, I'm going to color this in. I'm going to draw something scandalous and I'm going to come back after this with watercolor, but not on this because this is not watercolor paper. Hold on. I'm crafty and this can be some crafty shit here because I got to figure out, I got to figure out what I'm doing so I can spend more money, even though I really don't want to spend more money. All right, let's, where am I? Okay, let's come to here. It's, all right, let's see. What am I going to draw? I'm going to draw something wildly inappropriate. That Jane Davenport didn't see this coming. <laughs> oh my God, hashtag demonetized right there. But look. It's an elephant. <laughs> See, it's an elephant. <laughs> it's an elephant. See? <laughs> All right, I'm going to let this I'm going to let this dry and we're going to try something else here. Wait. Tina, you said you used this pen to draw with. What the hell is this thing? What is this little cap? If you said it in the comments, I'm sorry, I didn't see it. Okay, I'm going to try one of these, one of these, uh, whoa, I'm all stressed out now. I'm gonna try one of these, this is fine. This is medium, 
I'm gonna try a medium one because I think this Jane Davenport one is fine and this one is extra fine. So maybe I'll try a medium one and see how that feels. Let's see if one of these Jane Davenport inks works in there. Uh, there's all these blues. There's lots of blues. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, oh wait, that's the wrong way. Shit. Well, it went in, so hopefully it's gonna work. Okay, we're gonna take this hairy elephant scrotum and put him over here for now because it needs to dry so I can try watercoloring on it. The ink that was in the pen already from dry. <laughs> oh fuck, who else just super chatted me? Candy, thank you. Eden, welcome to my channel. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I just put blue in here and you can see it. So this is with a medium nib from this uh, Schaefer situation that apparently sucks, but I haven't tried it yet. So test, nothing's coming out. This is, I am way too impatient. People who use fountain pens have to have patience, I'm pretty sure, because I I don't have any, and it's not coming out yet. Where's the blue ink? Why is it out yet? What the yuck? Come out, come out, come out. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I have a baby wipe just for, oh, that's a pretty color. Okay. pretty. Farewell, Rhodia Dot Pad. We were friends once and now you hate me. Oops. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, that's hella calligraphy looking. Oops. It's all like straight. I mean, like, like, like a calligraphy. I guess that makes sense because these are like supposed to be calligraphy fountain pens, but like, how do you? Isn't there like a way to how do you like write with this to make it look? This is, this blue is so pretty. It says M on it. That's what it says, M. M could stand for much ink. I'm gonna try cursive. Let's see if it's pretty. Ooh, ooh. That is pretty. That's also a lot of ink. I wonder how quickly this will run out. All right, we're gonna cap this guy. We're gonna try a different one. I've got all these random pens. I might as well use them, right? Okay. Put the lid on the pen and tap several times. Okay. Okay, I gotta get, how the fuck do I get in this box? Like I'm gonna get defeated by the box, not fucking pens. Okay, sorry, for all of you who are new to the channel and have never been here before, this is way outside of my, normally when I go live, I'm planning and I'm drunk, which is still a shit show, but this is a different caliber. Of, I'm gonna hurt myself. I need a grown up. How the fuck do you get in here? Ah! <laughs> it's been a long day, okay? It's been a long day. The broader the nib, the more ink it puts in. You guys are so helpful. I really appreciate your helpfulness. Okay. There's a whole fucking book in here. Whoa. That's a lot of instructions. Okay, we're not gonna worry about instructions. Okay. There's all these pens and nibs. Okay, the rest of this can go over here. All right. Oh, thank you, Stacy, for the super chat. You guys are so nice. I swear to God, dude. Like, I, I did not expect any super chats from any of this. I really didn't. So I do appreciate that you guys are awesome. God, if I shake this and it flies and breaks my laptop screen where I'm, like, watching the comments, that would suck. Then I would be asking for super chats. I would be like, help me pay for the thing I broke with my stupidity. Okay. Super chat, Kaylee is, um, it's a way that you can donate money to people or like tip YouTube creators when they're streaming live. 
It's like there's a little dollar sign down by, not that I'm saying do it, but that's what it is. All right. Eden, I, I'm i assuming these are cheap. I mean, the Jane Davenport one, this one I've seen at Michael's for like seven bucks, I think. I think I bought this one for seven bucks, but Jane Davenport sent me this one. But as I'm abusing the shit out of these things, she'll be like, wow, Cindy, you really don't know what you're doing with fountain pens. But point being is that I've heard the more money you spend, the better they are. Kind of like a lot of things but I'm not willing to spend a shit ton of money. Most of these were given to me by family or something because I'm afraid that I'm going to break them. I want to find the broadest one, the biggest one I've got. What's the girthiest tip that I have? This one says B, so I'm assuming that this is girthy. Is this girthier than this one? Yep, it is. Okay, so I'm going to try the girthy one. What color should we make the girthy one? Should I use some of the ink from this package rather than the Jane Davenport ink. So far, this ink has been really pretty. I don't know if I want to waste it on my nonsensical experimentation. Goulet pens. Well, if I do purple, like what Christy said, then I can draw an eggplant because I already have green in one of these pens. The bigger the tip, the more the ink. Twisby Ecos. Oh my God, I'm going to have to go back. It's a good thing that YouTube is saving these comments because then I can go back and read them and figure out what in the fuck. Okay, we're going to take this purple ink from this set and we're going to put it in. I'm going to stick it in there. I'm going to, I'm going to shove it right up in this business here. All right. Fuck, it's the wrong side. God damn it. That snap is so, okay, now it's the orange pen, okay. The Goulet Pens YouTube channel is the best for fountain pen knowledge. Okay, good to know. Thank you for the tips, you guys. Okay, so this is in here. This purple thing is in here. Now you said shake it with the cap on. Oh, I felt ink move. Yeah, this is how I got tendonitis. It was cake decorating, not what you're thinking. Okay. <laughs> All right. Did I get it? Let's find out. <gasps> okay, that's really, that purple is really pale. It's pretty, but it's pale. I got to try this Jane Davenport purple and see how it compares. But this is all big. This is my kind of, of big and girthy size does matter. This feels really comfortable to write with. It's almost like I'm writing. You know when you're like making brownies or something and you get the spatula and you like, or like making like a cake, speaking of cake decorating, and you're putting frosting, like let's say, imagine in your mind for a moment that you are making a Funfetti cake, right? Because that's delicious. And then you go to spread the frosting on it with the spatula and just seeing the spatula like smooth all the frosting out. It's so satisfying. This is satisfying as fuck. Like I can see how much ink is like being, getting put on the paper. Like this is a lot of ink. I bet I could probably run out of this in like one day, but that's like how this fat ass tip is feeling to me. It's like I'm spreading fucking frosting all over this paper. Bye, John. See ya. It's okay, Lo Lois. We're just starting sort of. Alex, I'm glad Girthy is your new favorite work. Jen, I'm seeing you. I see you. All right. Anyway, I'm going to, am I supposed to clean the nib? I have no fucking idea. Okay. So I, if you, I'm just going to put this in a different way. If you're asking questions about fountain pens, I'm not going to answer them because I have no answers, but I will allow the chat to answer them because everybody in the chat knows more than I do. All right. So Wow, that's so pretty. Okay, now I'm going to draw it. But I think I want to try the purple ink from Jane Davenport now, though, because, <clears throat> because um, the green is so pretty, but it's in such a, all of the, like, the blue is so bright. I want to see if this purple Jane Davenport ink is brighter than this rando Schaefer ink. So where's the medium? This is the medium one. Okay, this is the right way. I'm going to cough. Sorry. <coughs> okay, I'm inhaling my own spit. Oh, okay. 
I'm getting all excited. I guess this is the rabbit hole. Fuck, I don't want to spend all that money. Whoa, that doesn't sound good. That sounds loose, loosey goosey. That doesn't seem right. That's because it's not right. Oh no, okay. Oh fuck, fuck my life. Okay, so this is gonna go in here, which I think had black ink before, so it's gonna mix together and I didn't clean it because I don't know if I'm supposed to or not. Can you not put a cartridge in twice? Am I broken? I'm getting covered in ink. Okay, hold on. We got this. I'm gonna. I'm saving the day. That's the black that was in there before. Let's dab some of this off. Dab on my haters. All right. That's all black. It's all black. I don't know if it's working or not. Oh, you're supposed to clean the pens when changing the ink. Damn it. Well. But that's too much work. <laughs> okay. I think I wrecked this cartridge. No, it's not upside down. Okay, we're gonna set that there. And we're gonna put in another purple cartridge. But I have to change the ink. I had to clean it. I don't know how to clean it, though. I've never done that before. I'm going to just use a baby wipe. You guys are probably all like, oh, my God, Cindy, that's not how you do it. But that's how I'm doing it. Because I'm a rebel and I'm doing things my own way. <laughs> water. Well, I have hard cider. I don't have water, though. <laughs> I'm unprepared. Oh, wait. I have this water. Okay. 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 I'm going to be reckless. I'm going to, as some of my friends that I used to work with at Trader Joe's would say, I'm going to spin the wheel of bad decisions right now. I'm going to put this in here in this drinking water. There we go. Now I'm going to clean it this way. It's like a washing machine. Look at that. Yes. Oh my God. It's like a washing machine. Look at it. Okay, I think it's clean. <laughs> All right, we're good. <laughs> I, it was a very gentle shake, okay? My fingers are gonna be stained for like a week. I have a towel, because I'm trying to stop using so many paper towels when I'm, when I'm painting. So I've got some bar mops that I'm just gonna wash because I don't care if they get stained, which, you know, I have a baby wipe, so you're like, Cindy, that kind of fucking defeats the purpose. But don't judge me. I'm working. Okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. Now I'm going to move this water over to the side. Oh, I'm going to steam my pants. All right. My cat is looking at me like I'm fucking losing it. Okay. Anyway, I need some hard cider for this really quick before I continue in my quest to make this work. Okay. I'm sorry if I am like making everybody who loves fountain pen super uncomfortable right now, but not really. Welcome to my channel. It's my channel. Fountain pens make me uncomfortable. Thank you, Anna, for the super chat. All right. I haven't gotten a flex nib because I didn't know what that was. So I guess that's my next purchase if I ever survive this video. Okay, it's clean. Now where's that purple? Okay, the purple snapped this time. So let's see if it's gonna work. If I, if I can write with this and it looks beautiful, then you all can suck my dick because I actually figured out a method to clean fountain pens on my own. <laughs> okay. I missed a super chat from Elizabeth. Oh no, I don't know how to do this. Anna, Elizabeth, 
Thank you, Elizabeth, for the super chat. You guys, I might need all of this to save my laptop when I wreck it doing all this garbage. Okay, there's water coming out of it, but that's okay. It'll, you said many strokes until the ink gets started. Oh, there goes the ink. I figure at this point, I don't care if I get this page wet. I've already wrecked it. Look at this. <gasps> okay, it's really pale though. That's probably my fault. It's okay. I'm gonna... That's a pretty purple. Look at that compared to this purple. Like this is a much more eggplanty purple. I'm gonna zoom you in <laughs> so you can look at the pain that I'm inflicting on this page. Okay, look at, oh, see now it's coming out just fine. That's a much more eggplanty purple than the, the other purple. I think Jane Davenport understands me. Okay, all right. What am I gonna do next? Okay, so we have the purple. So I said I was gonna draw an eggplant. Which one of these has the green ink in it? Is it this guy? I think it's this guy, this this teal one. All right, let's draw an eggplant and then we're gonna go and paint the elephant, which is my new nickname for jacking off. It's gonna be called painting the elephant. It's a good thing that both of my kids aren't in this chat right now like they were last time because this one's going to an interesting place. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna draw this little eggplanty top with that green. These are like beautiful eggplant colors. Look how pretty that is. Even though the ink is not really coming out all that cleanly, but I think that's my fault. Okay. So that's an eggplant. Okay. Anyway. All right, so we're, we're figuring this out, I think. Look at my hands. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, scrolling. scrolling back out. Now we're gonna head over to the, to the little egg, the little um, elephant and we're gonna paint him. Now, I think I am gonna do something else here that is awesome. Hold on. Okay, I need, I need, where is my, here's my palette. All right, now I'm gonna do something fun and not quite so, maybe, okay, where's my, no, not that one. Um, super off camera looking for something right now. Where is it? You? No, it's not you, but I'll take you. All right, do you have water in you though? Maybe, all right. Fuck, my shit is so unorganized, where is it? Okay, hold on. I'll zoom out so you guys can see what I'm dealing with right now. My unorganized self. I'm looking for the water brush. That's not even a water brush. What's that doing in there? I am looking for the water brush that has India ink in it. I have a water brush with black India ink in it and I cannot fucking find it. That's a not a good thing to lose either because if like a cat or somebody comes across. <laughs> Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> Painting the elephant. Okay, okay, we're looking for it. Where, 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 where? Oh no. I don't know, I don't even know what is going on in the comments at this point. scroll event, Kim, that's amazing. Did I try a hurricane when I went to New Orleans? I did not. I had something that was interesting, but I don't know what it was. Okay. Motherfucker, where is it? This is stressing me out because I need to, oh, there it is. Okay, so here's my water brush that has India ink in it. If you guys want, while I'm on camera here, I bought these hella days ago when I found them. They're the um, the other set of mermaid markers that I didn't have when I tried the newer set. This is the sun bleach set. If you want me to test these out, I can test those out while we're doing this once I get bored of the fountain pens. But for right now, I'm gonna take this India ink. Oh God, it's all crusted shut. It's been a while since I've used this. This is gonna be such a fucking mess. Hold on, hold on. We're putting this here just in case, okay. India ink stains, my friends. I hope you know that. Okay. Hold on. Oh, it's all crusty. It's been so long since I've, I filled this up with India ink. Oh, it's so stiff. Oh, it's so freaking stiff and kind of sticky. That's so gross. There are so many jokes to be had here. 
See if I can get some ink out of here and get it working. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay. This usually works, but then maybe not when you leave it in there for 80 years. Okay, there we go. Now it's waking up. But I don't want this brush, though. I don't want this. I just want a little bit of ink. Okay. Now that the ink is out, I'm capping you, and I'll deal with you later. Who knows when. Is there some water in here? I guess not. This one's empty. Okay. I am obviously a, custo a great custodian of my water brushes. <sighs> I don't want to wreck any of them, though. I like my water brushes. <laughs> but that's okay. It's okay. We're going to work. We're going to make it work. I'm just going to go with my Pentel, and if it doesn't, if I wreck it, then it's just an excuse to buy another one. I know I like this one. Okay. We're going to paint. Oh, my God. There's another super chat from Tiara. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, so here we go. I've got my Pentel Aquash. Pour one out because I'm about to get it moist with um, India ink, which is okay. I'm gonna put some water on the India ink so that it's like a little bit wet because I wanna lighten it up. I love painting with India ink, but I usually do it with regular paint brushes or with that bent ass water brush, but I'm just trying to get like a nice gray tone here. There we go. But I don't want it to be too moist. Okay, we got this. I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna paint the elephant. Like I said, that's my new name for, oh, this ink is waterproof. This is this, uh, what is it? Platinum ink fountain pen for carbon. Oh, that's open, let's not knock that over. Fountain pen for carbon ink is waterproof as fuck. Thank you, Michelle. I do only want it a perfect amount of moist. This looks like the world's most fucked up Shell Silverstein doodle of all time. Like an Uncle Pervy Shell Silverstein is what this looks like. So I'm gonna try and give each of the elephant's ears definition on their own. I want them to be slightly paler. So I'm gonna paint them in the ears, but then the balls, the ears, whatever. And then I'm gonna dab them off a little just to lighten them like that. And then I'm gonna get a little bit more ink make it a little bit darker because I want the the shaft, I mean the trunk, to be the darker situation. The carbon ink is a pigment ink. Ah, good to know. That's not dark enough. I need more ink. There we go. I wanna kinda caress the curves of this right here. See, it's an elephant. Give it like a little bit of a definition there. Okay. And then I'm gonna rub this off over here. God, I am so demonetized. I am demonetized as fuck is what I am right now. <laughs> and I don't even care. Now, one of the things, this is a quick water because I have, see, look how nice he looks. He looks like a little, a little elephant. That's what he is. Okay. So I'm gonna go back over with water and just kinda soften the ears up and the wiener, I mean the, the trunk. I'm just going over it with a little bit of, I'll zoom you back in. I'm, I can't decide what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Am I painting a penis? Am I painting an elephant? Do I zoom you in? Do I zoom you out? Do I rub it off? Do I keep it clean? Like, what do I do? I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm taking the water brush. This is a water brush tip for you all right now while I'm doing this with no ink on it. And I'm just using it to kind of push the color around to kind of create some shadows on this situation. That's a tip for you. This is also a tip for you. What color is in here? I don't know. We'll find out. What color is this elephant's spit? Oh, it's purple. Purple spit. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I cleaned off my water brush. And... <laughs> All right, 
So that's done. I'm going to set this to the side now and I'm not going to spill this. Where's that baby wipe? Where's that beleaguered baby wipe? I'm going to dab up some of this India ink so it doesn't make a giant mess everywhere. Okay. Because I actually do care whether or not my workspace is a mess, contrary to popular belief. Okay, I think this guy is going to be my new profile picture. That's not true. That is actually a dirty lie, I think, is that. All right. <laughs> I don't sell my art. Um, is it honor? Honore? I can't pronounce it, but I don't sell my art generally speaking. So, um, oh, Ariel, I'm so glad you found me. The diamond shimmertastic line. Can I draw a penis and make it into, well, I could, but that would be killing the joke too quickly. Now I'm going to take a second really quick though. Now that I'm, I'm, I'm moving forward. I think I have figured out the basic the, the basic, I feel like this guy with the extra fine tip is going to be an awesome sketching pen, which is why I sketch this with partly because the ink is waterproof and because it's a longer, it just feels fancy that I might feel really great sketching with it. But I think I need to take your guys' advice and get a um, flex nib to test that out because... That seems like a good idea because I don't see myself writing with these. Like the fine ones are just too fine and the broad ones are fun, but they're just not my style. So maybe, I don't know. Or maybe I just need a pen with like a looser nib. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Noodler's Flex Nib, rough and tough. That is a beautiful name. How do you pronounce it? You put it up here, Loma. How you pronounce? How you pronounce? Uh, did I say it right? <laughs> you guys have some, I do have a Blick. I have a Blick. Well, not near me. It's in Berkeley. So it's like 45 minutes from me, but it's near enough. Okay. I'm going to turn the page from the elephant mandingo happening there. And I'm going to test out these Jane Davenport things. I'm taking a break from the fountain pens right now because I think that the humor I've done the most humor I possibly can. So this is the sun bleached set. Now she sent me the new set of the ones that are the um, shimmery ones and the like, there's like a galaxy or something like the night sky ones. I bought the regular ones and I actually have two sets of them. I have this set here and then I have another set in my drawer because I like them so much that I wanted to have a spare. Um, Mariah, I'm so glad that I make you laugh. Please draw another elephant. I will, let me let me test these mermaid markers out and then I will draw a couple more drawings with these fountain pens, but I'm gonna step away from them for a minute just to, um, just to do the thing. Now, these are not shimmery, so you can shake these, I guess. So, you have to make sure when you open these, when you have to keep twisting until it goes down. <laughs> Just twist up and down, up and down until they're down. It's just down, 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 down. Go down hard until you feel it become erect. Hashtag demonetized. So these are, these are um, the Jane Davenport mermaid markers. They are basically like a water brush, very similar to a water brush, except these have ink in them. And this ink is um, water-based. I believe it's water-based. Look to make sure for sure because I've used it with water brush before and it's worked just fine. Um, dye based, non light, fast, water soluble ink. So, dye based, non light, fast, like I just said. Um, and she has um, a whole, I'll show you what the, the main set looks like, the first set she came out with. Because, like I said, I have a second one that I bought to hang on to for when I ran out. Because once they've run out, and I haven't actually run out of any yet, but I know I will. So this is what the main set looks like that you can get in Michael's. And then there's these three other small sets with like six in them. And there's this sun bleached one, which is the one I'm about to try now that I haven't tried yet. And then there is a, um, oh my God, I'm going to get ink all over. I'm wearing my Chrissy Ann design sweatshirt and I'm going to get fucking ink all over it. These things spoo. Okay. I'm fair warning. These things go everywhere when you start them. Like these make a mess when you start them out. <laughs> Thank you, Brittany. 
I have no idea. Are you guys still talking about ink in the comments? Any lefty suggestions for brush markers? Well, I personally am not a lefty, but um, the Tombos are probably good because they're so big that you can hold it up high enough where your hand isn't going to be smearing it. Like I would say that the brush markers that are shorter are going to be more of a problem because your hand will be closer to the paper. But the Tombos are so long that you probably will be able to get a decent amount of distance from the top. Just a suggestion. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. All right. So, so anyway, so I'll show you all the colors for those of you who've never seen these before. I have a couple of videos on them from when I like used them before, but I will show you all the colors. But first I want to try these ones out because these are the newest colors. So they have three new sets. There was this set that's like these dark colors. Um, they're like night sky type colors. That's not it. I don't know which ones they are. They're all mixed together now. And then um, this set that have like shimmer in them, like this one. And then there was just the regular set. And then these are like a paler set of colors. They're supposed to be kind of beachy, I guess. Anyway, shipwrecked. That's the shipwrecked is the other one. Thank you, Kat. This is sun bleached and shipwrecked is the darker one. And then Celestial Sky is the um, shimmery ones. Anyway, I need to get like a paper towel or something. I have one over here just to make sure. I have my towel, but I need to have one to help start these. And this is going to be a fucking mess is what this is going to be. Holy crap. Okay. We're just going to go for it. I have this towel and this towel, and we're going to just make this happen. I have my Chrissy and Design sweatshirt on and this new tank top I got from Kit Life that has like... It says like um, classy, like it says you're a classy beach on the bottom or something like on the back. And I'm wearing it and it was not a good idea because if I stain this, I am going to be a sad panda. Okay. Anyway, here we go. Yeah, no, Lois, these are, these are expensive. Like I bought these with a coupon, the, the main set. I bought those with a coupon and then she sent me the other ones and I bought these with a coupon. I very rarely buy anything expensive at Michael's, anything over like the $10 range without using like a 40% off coupon. Even below that, I'll use a coupon. But if I'm going to buy something bigger, I won't buy it unless I have a coupon for it. I'll just come back and buy it a different time because I refuse to pay full price for anything at Michael's. Okay, so there's one, there's six colors. So I gotta get them all started, which is, this is where if you've never used these mermaid markers before, getting them started is the danger zone because they will get everywhere if you're not careful. And even if you are careful, they'll still get everywhere. Okay. Okay. This one is not, it, oh, that's pretty. Let me see if I zoom you in a little bit more so you can get a better look at the colors. I swear my camera is gonna go falling down into what I'm working on right here. Okay, so this color is the yellow in the pack and it is called Sandbar. That's really pretty. I wonder how it compares to the other yellow. So there's this one from the original pack which is called Pirate's Gold. See, this one's a little bit orangier. And then I think that one's a shimmer one. Those are the only two yellows? Really? Yeah, the pirate's gold and then the shimmery one. So this is like the first true yellow, I think, in the set, which is good to have one because that's true yellow is a good idea. And then, oh, what color is this? This is conch, which sounds kind of vaginal to me. I'm not going to lie. It sounds kind of vaginal. Okay. This is not going to be enough paper towel. So I'm just squishing them a little bit to get the color started. Like a water brush, you need to get the tip like moist before it'll really work. I feel like this is not at its top intensity yet. Maybe it is. It's really pretty. So I guess that's conch. Let me see how that compares to the pink that's in here. This is coral. I, th I think coral is super um, pale. I mean, super bright. Yeah, so that's coral that's in the main set. So 
I'm just trying to check because I hate it when you get like doubles of similar colors and things. And so far there hasn't been a lot of that with the Jane Davenport stuff, but I'm on the prowl for it just in case. Holy shit. Jody, thank you. All right. You weren't sure about Marine? I don't know if you guys are talking about these pens or if you're talking about the inks that are, <laughs> that you're talking about in the comments. I'm so confused as to what's happening. This has like become a live stream where the fountain pen enthusiasts are over my shit. So they're talking about it on their own terms. So this is called Seashell. These are all really pale, which I like because the original set was super bright. I'm just trying to see if I'm like getting like the, the full ink. I mean, there's no water in here, so I don't imagine that it would ever be watered down. And then concha is used as a derogatory term for vagina. Well, then I guess I was right. It does sound vaginal. So I'm looking for one that's like the orangey color from, I mean, I guess this one is kind of the orangey color, but there's also this beach color that's kind of like a Yeah, this is this beach one is from the original set. So I'm just checking to make sure. It looks like they complement very, very well, which is nice because um, it's nice that they work together. Oh, I love blues. <laughs> Eden, I'm glad that you got away with it, I guess. I hope. All right, what color is this? This is Lagoon. That's really pretty. Look at that. These, these, um, what are they? Sun bleached. I think the name of this set is very apt because these are very soft colors. Because like, let me show you the comparable blue that's in the, um, in the original set blue bottle. This is a bright fucking blue or a dark blue. I mean, there's that blue, that's sun, that's blue bottle in the original set. And then this one is squid ink that's from the newer set. All right, this is one of the sparkly ones, isn't it? Yeah, this is one of the sparkly ones. I can't even tell. And then this one is Milky Way, which is another sparkly one from the sparkly set. Yeah, they're they're really fun. They there's a lot when you have to when you use these, you have to be prepared that you're not gonna be able to completely control them. I really like using them. I, they're right up my alley because I like to do a lot of like loose painting. And so they're fun to work with and like art journal with, but they are messy and you don't have a lot of control over them. So it's important to know that when you're about to use them. This, this is a brown, this color is driftwood. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. It looks kind of like poo water, but in a good way. I'm not sure if there's a good way for poo water, but I could see this color being extremely handy. You know? It's not the prettiest color, but I think it's gonna be a very useful color, especially for like adding like a little bit of brown to dull down a color to make it like a little bit more, less like vibrant. Have I tried the Windsor and Newton watercolor markers? I have not. I have had my eye on them, but I just have not had the nerve to spend the money on them when I have so many other things that I've spent money on that I still need to experiment with. Case in point, these guys that I bought like back in the summer when I found them and I hadn't used them yet. <laughs> but they are on my they are on my eyeball like oogly boogly list. So and then this is Bali Blue. Oh, I think this is my favorite one of the bunch. Oh, I love greens like this. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so the colors that are in this Sun Bleach palette are this yellow, pink, this corally kind of color, blue, brown, and green, which I think are a very nice complement to the darker colors that are in the regular set. Like, here's one of the greens in the rig. This is kelp. I think this is one of the sparkly ones. Can't fucking tell. No, I don't think this is one of the sparkly ones, but this is one of the ones from the darker set that came out, that green. And then this green, which is called seaweed, came from the original set. And as you can see with these, you've kind of got a, 
think I just got kicked off a little bit because All right, sorry about that. I got a phone call and I'm live streaming from my phone. Can you not, am I not replaying? Oh, ball sack. I'm, it's all dark. It says I'm live. Sound no picture. It's cause somebody fucking called me. Don't you know I'm streaming? Okay, well, you know what I'm going to do then? I am going to, because I still have at least another half an hour before I said I would be done with this in my own mind, I'm going to log off and then start another stream. So that's what I'm going to do because I am too fucking popular for this. Okay, I'm going to log off and start another live stream right about meow. So just keep your eye open and there will be one in just a second. <laughs> 